Now we'll begin to make our comp. So the first thing we need is a camera. So I'll add in an Al Cinecam. You can also use a standard Unreal Cinecam. It doesn't matter. The camera is just there to provide the viewpoint which Composure will attach to. It's not actually being used in this case as a camera. So we'll get that set up and it, to get the nice reflections on the desk we'll just raise it a bit and have it looking down a bit. Okay. That's fine for the moment. And then next, you need to make sure you've got Composure active. So you're going to go Window, Virtual Production, Composure Compositing. And if you don't have that already, then that'll pop up in your scene. Then in Composure, we now need to create new comp. And we just select Empty Comp Shot. I'll rename that Al Comp. And then next, we add a layer element. And I'm going to use, in this case, the Al CG element. And I'll show you why. So this is the Al CG element. And then also, we can try with the Unreal CG layer element. And we're going to compare them, and we can see the differences in how they look. So again, we'll just name this Al BG, and we can name this UV Unreal B, and let's open them up. So, what is going on here? So basically, Unreal their native composure background element uses something called scene capture 2d and scene capture 2d is this funny scene capture actor that they have which doesn't include a lot of the newer capabilities rendering capabilities in unreal and so it misses a whole bunch of post processes etc and you can see the huge difference, really. So here we get the nice reflections of the sky. In fact, there's some parts of the sky that aren't even being captured here. Um, better texture on the materials, better reflections, just an enormous amount of difference. So um, that's one of the useful things about the OWL compositing toolkit is that you get these awesome post-process effects, which are exactly the same as you get in the viewport so i mean if we zoom in here actually we can pilot this and so i mean if we compare the lcg element to the viewport looks exactly the same if we compare the unreal cg element to the viewport it looks completely different so use the r1 and that'll make your life a lot easier